Welcome to this Bybit Advanced Futures tutorial where I'm going to explain to you a couple of advanced futures that the Bybit Exchange is offering like Trade GPT, special orders like conditional orders and TWAP orders and I'm going to show you how you can set up a trailing stop loss. So guys, let's jump straight into it. We all know what ChatGPT is, right? I guess most of us right now have used ChatGPT at least once in their lifetime. Well, Bybit launched something that is called TradeGPT, which is artificial intelligence, which you can ask certain questions about the markets and about trading. First of all, you need to create an account over on Bybit. You can do that with the link down below in the description. If you sign up with that specific affiliate link, you can get a deposit bonus up to 30,000 US dollars and you will get access to a will alerts, which is a private telegram where you, where you will receive extra information on the markets. To open the trade GPT section, you basically click on tools, then you click on trade GPT. That will bring you to the trade GPT dashboard where you can already see a market summary. Well, this number is actually coming from the fear and greed index over on will portal, which right now is 46 neutral. And we can see that also in the market summary over on trade gpt but here we can ask certain questions so for example we can ask trade gpt the following make a price analysis report of bitcoin based on data today make it easy understanding and insightful so guys let's have a look what trade gpt is answering right here based on the data provided today let's analyze the price of bitcoin and provide a comprehensive report Key findings, current Bitcoin price, the latest close price for Bitcoin is 27,131 with a 24 hour price range of plus 0.05%. This indicates a slight positive momentum in the price. Well, that's actually true. Bitcoin has seen some positive momentum. Price trend, based on the data, there's a higher probability of a bullish trend today. I think so actually too. So this is quite a good answer so far. This suggests just that the price may continue to rise. Well, I would agree. Number three, the MACD signal. Indicator is signaling a bullish trend. It has been observed nine times within the past seven days, indicating a consistent bullish pattern. Moreover, the MACD next one hour bullish chances are at 55.56%, supporting the idea of a potential price increase. Number four, technical indicators. Other technical indicators such as the relative strength index and the Bollinger Bands do not show specific patterns or support for a bullish or bearish trend. The KDJ indicator also does not provide any clear signal. Uh, market sentiment index, well, that is number 46. We already shared that because that one is from the fear and greed index over from worldporter.com. Then, guys, we are getting some insights from Trade GPT. First of all, we're getting some information about the Bitcoin market. Well, we know most things about that. Price analysis, you get some information about funding analysis. Um, you can see right here the long short ratio is actually positive, which means that a lot of will traders basically. Uh, are right now in long positions and here we can also see a summary based on today's data analysis the key findings indicate a higher probability of a bullish trend for btc the macd indicator consistently shows a bullish signal supporting the potential for a price increase however other technical indicators and the market sentiment index suggest a neutral sentiment which is actually good you don't want to have a overly uh, positive sentiment if you expect the price to continue to go up it is advisable to consider multiple indicators and market conditions before making any investment decision of course this is something they have to say but i'm actually quite impressed by this answer because i would basically say the same i think today bitcoin is actually looking rather bullish that is also based on derivatives exchange data and it's also nice that this artificial intelligence is giving a very clear answer in opposition of for example chat gpt which sometimes can be a little bit fake although you do have to know how to ask questions but this is a very straightforward report on what this ai thinks is going to happen with the bitcoin price
So guys, this is quite crazy. I asked this trade GPT, if I want to enter a long position, where should I place my buy order? What is the next support below for Bitcoin? And I got the following answer, guys. To determine the ideal buy order for long position in Bitcoin, we can look at the Bollinger Bands and the support price right now is at 26,592. I think that is actually kind of crazy that it gives such a precise level in summary if you want to enter a long position in bitcoin you can consider placing your buy order around 26,592 which is the mentioned bollinger bands support price so guys it's really fun to talk with trade gpt it definitely can give you some answers also, if you have questions about how to place orders on Bybit or you have other questions about services that Bybit is offering, you can ask Trade GPT. That is very nice. However, don't rely completely on a machine or on artificial intelligence for your trading strategy. Definitely take this also a little bit with a grain of salt. You can use this for your analysis, but yeah, don't rely 100% on what this um, AI chat is basically telling you. Guys, if you so far like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comment section and I will answer them as soon as possible. Then guys, let's go to the next subject, which are the special order types from Bybit. And I want to start off with a conditional order, which is a very unique order in comparison to a limit or market order. Because a limit order, as we all know, is a order that will be executed once the price of Bitcoin meets the limit price. So let's say we set a buy order at 21,000 US dollars. Then that order will be put in the order book and will only be executed when Bitcoin is touching that level right a market order is a order that will be executed directly at the best available market price so you are directly in a position and a conditional order guys needs a trigger price which means that that order will only be executed once bitcoin meets a trigger price and how is that different from a limit order well with a conditional order you can actually set a certain order that can be a limit order that can be a market order which will be set in place once bitcoin is hitting a certain level so let me explain to you guys so let's say whenever bitcoin reaches twenty-eight thousand us dollars so we think that whenever bitcoin reaches twenty-eight thousand us dollars there is a big breakout let's say we expect the price of bitcoin to continue to see higher levels but we would like to save fees on market orders so we don't want to place a market order whenever we have like whenever we hit twenty-eight thousand. no we're going to do whenever we hit twenty-eight thousand. We want to put a limit order at 27,990. Here we can select 100% of our asset. Then we want to open that long position that we have been talking about, right? So we, then we click on long. Here you can see the... Um, basically the order details trigger price 28,000 so whenever bitcoin is touching 28,000 we get a limit order in the order book of a entry of 27,990 which means that after bitcoin reaches 28,000 if it dips back to 27,990 we are in a long position with the fee structure of a limit order and not with the fee structure of a market order and can, that can definitely save some money so here you can set confirm then right here on the conditional we can find the orders bitcoin us dollar tether a quarter of a bitcoin once we reach 28,000 us dollars and then we are going to get a, a limit order into the order book which is with a limit price of 27,990. Of course, if you like, you can right now already set a stop loss for that order or a take profit, which is also kind, kind of crazy if you think about it. So guys, let's say if we have like 50% profit on our trade, we want to take profits right here. So we can also set this percentage as 50%. We also want to have, for example, if we lose 50% right here, we really want to get stopped out of this trade. So that's why we do minus 50 50% right here we would have a loss of 587 US dollar tether 
Uh, so yeah, we can just click confirm and now you can see that this whole trade is already being set in place while Bitcoin is not even close to this price, right? So the story of this trade guys is that whenever Bitcoin reaches 28,000 US dollars, we get a limit order in the order book at 27,990. Once that limit order is filled, we have already a take profit and a stop loss in play, which is kind of crazy because you can almost completely automate your trading strategy with that by just placing these conditional orders. Bybit is offering a TWAP order as well that is a time-based order so let's say for example we can we want to buy Bitcoin or any other altcoin but we want to avoid slippage because we have quite some liquidity in our account and we are going to throw quite some money then you can say for example I want this order to be executed like in a time frame of 10 minutes so that order will be divided and will be placed during those 10 minutes to avoid any slippage i guess most people don't really need this order type because you need a lot of money if you want to uh, protect yourself against slippage why right? to get slippage you need like a lot of liquidity and this can come in especially handy with altcoins guys because some altcoins have a very low liquidity so you want to split your orders over a certain time frame so you can still get a like average exit or entry price without too much slippage to the upside or to the downside now let's have a look at the trailing stop loss function on buy a bit first of all guys what is a trailing stop loss a trailing stop loss is basically a stop loss that is following your the price of the position that you have so let's say bitcoin is at 28,000 US dollars and you have a trailing stop loss of 1% below the price then that stop loss will follow the price of Bitcoin once it goes up but when Bitcoin goes down the stop loss stays in place so every time Bitcoin would have a 1% decline you will be stopped out of your trade and for us to open a trailing stop loss to show you how this works I first need to open a position so let's open a small position on Bitcoin right here uh, we can open along with a market order so we are directly in our position we click right here on confirm then you can see right here we are in a position then you have the option right here trailing stop you click on add and here you can uh, select how you want to do it if you want to do it by distance or by rate I think rate is nice so we can do it for example by 4% right here then we click on confirm and now we can see our trailing stop is set in place at 4%. So the trigger right now would be 26,082 US dollars. But if Bitcoin continues to rise in price, the trailing stop will follow until Bitcoin is losing that 4%, which is the rate that we have set this trailing stop. And then we will be stopped out. And why should you use a trailing stop? Well, let's say you are trading a breakout with Bitcoin, right? And Bitcoin just continues to go up. You don't want to take profits right now because Bitcoin might go up higher. That is when you set a trailing stop. So when Bitcoin's price continues to go up, your stop loss is following the price. And when Bitcoin is losing momentum and is coming back down, you will be stopped out and you are basically taking profits on your trade. Then guys, next to these futures that we have discussed in today's video, Bybit also has copy trading or even creating your own trading bots. But I made separate videos on those. So make sure to watch those videos if you are interested in those topics. And if you don't have an account yet over on Bybit, make sure to create an account over on Bybit today using the affiliate link down below this video. If you use the specific affiliate link down below this video, you can get a deposit bonus up to 30,000 US dollars on Bybit. And you will also get access to a private Telegram community where we are posting extra information on what is happening in the markets, trade setups, alt which altcoins to buy and so on. So guys, make sure to join Bybit with the affiliate link down below this video. Bybit is by far one of the best exchanges. Guys, I hope you learned something in today's video about the advanced futures that Bybit is offering. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comment section. I will answer them as soon as possible. If you learned anything from this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you want to stay connected with me during this bull market, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I wish you all a beautiful day. And I hope to see every single one of you in the next video.